uh, so in this video, I just want to show you what are the basic steps to get started with um, building uh, ASP and Core applications. The first step you need is actually to get the SDK. So down a core SDK. So SDK stands for Software Development Kit. And for you to download the SDK, just go to datnet.microsoft.com. And you have download option here. When you go to download, you'll see two uh, options here. You have the traditional Dynet framework. You can also use this to build web applications. But uh, the more latest uh, cross-platform offering for Microsoft is Dynet Core. Uh, this is the one that I'll be using f for the series of these recordings. And the latest version of Dynet Core is 3.1, and we just want to download that. So here you have multiple options. You can download the runtime. You can download the SDK. The runtime is actually to run the app, but before you run the app, you should be able to build the app. For building the app, you need the SDK, so you just download this one. So I already downloaded this. So this is a download here that I did earlier. I already installed it on my machine. Let's go ahead and check that. So let's open a command prompt. Um, I'll open a brand new one here, and type .NET. So .NET is already installed. Type .NET dash dash list dash SDKs. So that gives you all the versions of the SDK that are installed. The latest one is 3.1.301. So that's the one we're going to be using. So Good to go from that standpoint. So we have the SDK installed. The next step is to get the editor, the tool that we want to use to actually write software. So the two popular version uh, products that uh, most .NET uh, Microsoft developers will use is Visual Studio uh, Code and Visual Studio, right? So I'm going to go to um, visualstudio.com. I'll give you uh, the products that Visual Studio offers. We have like Visual Studio, the Standard Visual Studio, you have Visual Studio Code, and you have a Visual Studio for Mac as well. I'm using Windows, so I'll be sticking to these first two, Visual Studio and Visual Studio Code. The main difference here is Visual Studio has a ton of marketplace plugins. It has a ton of features. It supports a lot of languages. It can, Sometimes it can be uh, it can be a little bit performance-wise. It can be a little bit slow. So Visual Studio Code is a very lightweight. It's, it, you know, it's easy to uh, open it up, easy to shut down. It's, it's just very fast and but my main uh, thing is that Visual Studio Code is best suited for front-end projects. If you're working with TypeScript, if you're working with any single-page applications like Angular or React, and, um, this is the best uh, fitting uh, code editor for that. But Visual Studio, uh, for if you're working on a back-end project, if C Sharp is your main um, primary language to build those applications or F Sharp or anything like that. Um, so Visual Studio does really well over there. So I installed both products on my machine. I'm going to show both of them. So the first one is I'm going to show Visual Studio. So here's Visual Studio. I'm going to close whatever I have open here. I'm going to close the solution. And uh, I'm going to start from scratch. So I'm going to create open a new project. And sorry, I meant to say create a new project. Create a new project. And I want to create an ASP and core web application using C Sharp. I'm going to hit Next. And I'm going to give it a name. Um, my first web app. Go ahead and hit create. So this creates the project. It's, but before it creates it, it asks us what type of web project it is. Do you want me to create a blank project? Or are you going to create every single file from scratch? Or are you going to you want me to create the API? So uh, API is also categorized under web project because API also receives uh, the HTTP request and it's able to process them. And then you have web application, you have different versions here. So you have web application using the Razor pages, or you can have a web application using the traditional MVC model view controller. And you also have SPA support here, single page applications like Angular and React. So for this demo, I'm going to use the traditional MVC. I hit create. So that uses the MVC template to uh, create the project structure. So once it's created, uh, scoot some time. If I open my Solution Explorer, it's still not ready. Okay, here it is. So uh, if I open my Solution Explorer, this is the project structure that the template created for us, right? So we're going to walk through each of these, but before that, I also want to open the same thing in Visual Studio Code. 
So right click this, go to open in uh, File Explorer, just copy the path. Uh, cancel this, then open Visual Studio Code. I'm going to bring it over here. Whatever I'm working on, I'm going to close this. I'm going to open I probably have to reboot my machine. I've been doing a lot of work. So file open folder. Paste that path in here. And then select folder. So this opens up the same project registry of code. Okay, so the project structure is identical, and uh, so whatever folder structure you have uh, on Visual Studio is exactly the same as this, right? Sometimes if it's the very first time you're loading this code with a C-sharp project, uh, it'll, it does give you a prompt to install C-sharp extensions. Make sure you click yes. Once you've done that and everything is good to go, you should be able to do that. So in order to fire this project, just hit run. And run with 